Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So here we are with the new topic that is bubble sort. So we are going to see everything in detail like what is bubble sort, its coding part and uh, also we are going to see it by example. So we should start now. Okay, before going to that, I would like to request you all to please do like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So we will start now. Like what is bubble sort? So as we know that it is the most basic uh, sorting algorithm that we know and its time complexity is big O n square. Okay, so the, I will tell you why O n square and uh, why it is uh, like n square. We are going to see it everything in detail. Okay, so in bubble sort what we do is we try to compare each element in pair wise. Okay. Like for example, suppose we are given 4, 1, 3, 9 and then 7. So this is our required array. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to sort this element. Sort means basically we need to arrange it in ascending order. Okay. So what is bubble sort? What does it do? So bubble sort will basically compare pairwise. Like it will first come, uh, come here. And then it will check these two elements uh, like are they in a sorted way or are they uh, in ascending order so it will check so no it is not we can see that 4 is greater than 1 and it is before it so what we will do we will just swap this okay and then it will become 1 4 3 9 7 then again we will move further and then we will compare these two okay these two elements these two elements then it will again compare is it sorted no it is not sorted swap it then we have 1 3 4 9 and then 7 till now we have covered till here yes and now we will go again and then compare these two elements so here you can see that is it sorted yes it is sorted no need to swap anything then what we will do we will move further and then it will become 1 3 4 9 7 till now we have covered till here yes now we will again check 9 and 7 is it sorted no it is not sorted what we will do the next step is we'll just compare it and then swap it okay we will swap it now from this few points that to be concluded is like uh, what are those points that we can actually see from this dry run or from this uh, uh, like what we can uh, think the most important part is that whatever the maximum of this array was now is at its last position here you can see that it is actually in the last part and even we can see that this array is also sorted but this will not be the same for each array okay this array has become sorted but this is not the case for each array for each array what we will do we will again do it till when till our array is sorted so we are going to actually see some more uh, dry run part so that it will be clear in this we have been covering it in one traverse only but actually we need n square why n square that too we will see okay so but the most important part that is to be considered here is that the maximum value in one traverse only in one traverse the maximum value of this array is coming to the last part okay last part okay so now we are getting the uh, la maximum value at the last part now this will be uh, this will be implemented in our code that's why i'm mostly emphasizing in this point so okay so now we will start with the coding part like what is the code okay so we know that what we want first of all first i index or we can say i va variable that will start from the first index and it will go till when till the second last element why because we need we are actually comparing from where the first element second element then second third then third fourth then fourth fifth so what we want is that we want to cover till last element that's why we'll go till second last i know it is a bit confusing it is sounding a bit confusing but don't worry i will just write the code and then we will start with the explanation part okay 
सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी दी कोडिंग पार्ट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू एग्जैक्टली टेल ऑल दो लाइक आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दी मेन फंक्शन बट ओनली दी बबल सॉर्ट फंक्शन आई हैव क्रिएटेड दिस दी रफ आइडिया टू गिव यू ऑल ओके सो दिस इज दी बबल सॉर्ट फंक्शन वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ एक्चुअली दी बबल सॉर्ट वर्क सो वॉट वी आर डूइंग वी हैव स्टार्टेड वन फॉर लूप दैट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम लेट मी जस्ट टेक दैट सेम एग्जाम्पल दैट वी वेर टेकिंग फोर वन थ्री नाइन एंड देन सेवन ओके सो वी आर हैविंग वन इंड वेरिएबल आई विच इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम जीरो इंडेक्स थ्री एंड फोर ओके एंड इट इज गोइंग टिल एन माइनस वन दैट इज एंड इट इज लेस देन सो इट विल गो टिल हियर टिल थ्री येस वाई दैट टू आई विल टेल यू ऑल so then again inside it we are having one vari a variable or j index that is going to cover the from j equal to 0 to n minus i minus 1 it is less than n minus i minus 1 why that too i will tell so uh, and then we are comparing if array j is greater than array j plus 1 then what we are doing we are just swapping the same thing that we were doing uh, earlier okay so for that for that why we need to go till n minus 1 okay why we need to go to n minus 1 so the reason is that because j is going till where it is going till j plus 1 we are compa comparing from where from array j to um array j plus 1 so if it will go here and if it will compare to array j plus 1 then it will show array index not found error you can just try it if you will use till n and then compare it then it will just show array index not found error so for that only what we are doing we are just we know that our values are till 4 fourth index but what we will do we will start our index from 0 and we will go till less than n minus 1 so that our comparison from j we can do it till j plus 1 okay so it will include this also that's why we have used n minus 1 less than n minus 1 so that's our first part that we have done then next is that we have gone from j 0 to j is less than n minus i minus 1 that is as soon as our i value will increase then our j will what it will do it will just decrease its position like it will decrease how much range it is covering why because i have told you in the previous part if you have heard it then uh, if you have not noticed that point that i have repeated again and again that what is happening after each traversing what we are getting we are getting the maximum of the array at last position yes so for why to waste our time why to waste our energy like why we will traverse again and again to the last part so that's why what we are doing we are ignoring we are traversing once and then we are ignoring that last position then we are again traversing then we are uh, again ignoring the second last position likewise that's why what we are doing we are going till n minus i minus 1 you can just do the drive run part you will check and you will see that whatever the maximum value is in the first traversing we will get it in the last position and then uh, the remaining part of the array whatever the maximum is we will get in in the second last position so that's how what we are doing after each incrementation of like after incrementing i what we are doing we are decrementing or we are just decreasing the value of j or we are decreasing the range of j that is less than n minus i minus 1 and then j plus plus then again what we are doing we are just comparing array j with array j plus 1 and then if it is not sorted or if it is not arranged what we are doing we are swapping it so there is one task for you all Uh, because uh, in this uh, this uh, code or in this array what we have uh, been seeing that it is getting sorted in one traverse only in like for i equal to 0 only we are getting the sorted array but uh, this is not possible for each and every array so i'm giving you one homework so that you can just work on it it is not like homework i'm sorry you can just solve that and you can comment down that if you are having any problem or if you have solved it then that's great you can just tell it in the comment section i'm giving you the array 
10 9 8 it is 9 sorry 8 7 6 5 4 3 then 2 and then 1 you can just check for this this will be needing more i value and then you can actually compare or actually you can see why we are needing these kind of things or why we are actually going to n minus 1 that to that i think you must be knowing why we are going to n minus 1 so that we can go to j plus 1 we are compared to j plus 1 and it is not showing error index out of bond bound error you can just uh, code it and you can see and then for this i have already told you the reason why we are using because we are having the maximum value in one iteration to the last part like in the first iteration suppose for i equal to 0 what will happen for i equal to 0 the maximum of this is 10 and that 10 will go to last part then for that only that's why what we will do in when i equal to 1 we will compare j up till where the second last position only okay that's why we are uh, making it j is less than n minus i minus 1 1 minus 1 that is n minus 2 so we will go till here only and then we will uh, like here only and then we will compare it with j plus 1 so that's why why because after um, for i equal to 1 what we will get we will get this maximum that is 9 is maximum and it will go automatically go here then for i equal to 2 it will go here that's why we will not go again we will not traverse again and again to this part we are just making it sorted and we are ignoring it so concluding this video i would like to add some points first what we have seen that bubble sort is the most basic one and its time complexity is o n square okay and uh, sorry for this hmm o n square then what we have seen that it is uh, actually comparing two elements okay pairwise elements then what we have seen that uh, it is having o n square yeah these are the points that you need to consider the basic code i have already given i hope you guys have uh, now having the idea what the bubble sort is so if you liked it please do like and comment and give your reviews thank you